Hi y'all. I'm back. Here we go with another video. I'm sorry it's been so long. I'll try to do better, but you know, I'm just not that good. I've been working really hard though. And I want to show you. Rona, what's going on girl? Okay, I'm not showing you over there because, uh, yeah, I haven't been working that hard because that, nope, nope. But look at this. Look at this, y'all. I did some shelves. I did a little desk in the corner. And if you look at these shelves, you'll see that, uh, if, you, if you watch the other video I did with my own solar shed, I kind of just threw it together. But you see what I did here? I let the grain of the plywood run through. It looks like those shelves are just floating on the plywood wall, but that's not what happened. You see what happened was I ran the plywood to right here. I set the shelf on top of it. I set the next piece of plywood on top of that up to that shelf. I set that shelf on top of it. But when I did it, I was careful to make sure that the grain carried through. So it looks like the shelves are just floating without any support. And it wouldn't actually work that way, folks. But they're nice and strong. They look pretty good. And I did that everywhere on all, all the walls. And I even tried when I got up above it, because that's the eight foot mark. I tried to find sheets to come on up, but these three sheets and you see how I bent that at that angle and let the grain, oh, I like that. It just makes me feel nice when I see that later. But that sheet of plywood right there, that was the cutoff from, whoa, what do we got here? That was the cutoff from this sheet of plywood. There's a five foot piece and that's a three foot piece up there. Here we go, y'all. Yeah, that's right. The solar shed has the equipment hanging. And as before, I've got three of the day 8,000 watt inverters. And, oh, I've even got a helper today with, with my video. Hello. Okay, so I got three of the day inverters. I got the same midnight solar battery combiner box with eight 175 watt breakers, one for each of the eight. 14 kilowatt hour batteries that we're building. I have three 250 watt DC breakers, one for each of the day inverters. So this one is for here and these two are for there. I try to make it to where it's intuitive so that these four breakers will be one, two, three, four, and these four breakers will be five, six, seven, eight on the batteries. And then if you look at the if you look at the day inverter, inside the day inverter are three buses, if you will. And those three buses are for the grid, the generator, and the load. Let me show you that. Grid, generator, and load. And each of those will be going to one of these panels. So the grid will come in here. I'll have from the grid, coming from the house, I'll have a 125 amp circuit. This is a 125 amp breaker. It'll be with two, two gauge copper. And then this panel will split that grid input into three 60 amp breakers one for each of these inverters. One, two, three. All right, that's not all. This grid will also be tied in to this um, transfer switch. And this transfer switch will be set up so that the grid comes in through the transfer switch and back out into this distribution. But, if I want to bypass this whole solar shed and take that power from the grid, bypass this whole thing and just take the grid power back to the house, I can do it. 
That's what this is about. Then, the second one is a generator panel. Now, in this case, I will have a generator, and I will have two uh, AC-coupled inverters coming from the house. And so, this panel actually works to bring in, there, there are six 40 amp breakers in this panel. Three of these 40 amp breakers will take power and distribute it to each of these inverters. And then one of these will be for the generator, and two of these will be for the two uh, solar, solar edge AC coupled inverters. This is gonna be a manual transfer switch, just like at my house, with heavily printed instructions so that you know to turn off, you know to never turn off, turn on the generator breaker without turning off the AC coupled inverter breakers. Now at night it won't matter. During the daytime, if your generator is running and you have AC coupled inverter power going into it, you will blow up your generator. So, this acts to decide if the generator or the AC coupled power goes into these inverters through this generator circuit. This breaker panel is for the load. It takes a 60 amp breaker, one from each of these inverters. It combines it and sends it to the house with this 125 amp breaker. At the same time, I will also take load for this building and that building, the air conditioning units for those buildings, the lighting, the outlets, and all that. That all will be in these 20 amp breakers right here. All right, so let me show you behind this wall is... Now, in case you haven't seen that other video, the reason this, these panels are built on this wall that is furred off is because my batteries, they're 30 inches deep, 32 inches deep. Um, and so they'll come out to about that line. And that way you can walk up and work on these panels without stepping on your batteries. I don't know if you've looked at the do-it-yourself solar forum with the guy who was crawling around on top of his batteries so he didn't even have them in boxes and crawling around on top of them just laid a sheet of plywood on top of them and then started crawling around with his weight on them whoo craziness if he had just furred his panels off the wall like this he wouldn't have been crawling around on his batteries that's just nuts well he paid the price ended up with a hot situation didn't catch fire, but uh, did melt down some batteries and he had to start over. So, the, the wonderful thing about this false wall is it gives me a nice chase. And, oh, that wire is for the DC coupled panels. The solar panels on the roof of this building come in through here and those will be tied in to the inverters through the solar inputs. These conduits bring power from the house, take power to the house, and also take power over to the other building. And so, and, and also take an electric circuit over to the building so you could turn the lights on from this building from the house. Since we had the pipe available, we went ahead and ran the wire. And when I say we, I mean, my friend helped me pull the wire. It was a team effort. So this chase that I've built here will allow us to come in behind and do all the wiring very easily um, with lots of room to work back behind these panels so that we can bring it all in. And if we ever had to work on it or add something later, this will make it easy to do that. So. That's where we're at right now. And, oh, there's more. I'm sorry, y'all. I promised you 
a surge protection device video. And I got busy building these buildings instead. I'm sorry. I still intend to do it. Here they are. I've got the surge protection devices for this project here. I've got a whole nother batch at my house. And they need to get installed, but I wanted to get this taken care of because I'm about to disappear. I have a request though. What do y'all want to see? Because I'm about to disappear off into the blue yonder, and that's the deep blue yonder. And y'all probably aren't interested in scuba diving, are you? I had spent all day yesterday rebuilding scuba regulators. I've, uh, I've been trained in scuba regulator repair, and I rebuilt eight first stages yesterday and, and eight second stages, inspected, rebuilt, some inspected some, made sure that they were all ready for this uh, trip I'm about to take. And while I'm there, I could talk to you about that. I intend to talk to you while I'm there about construction methods that we find down in Mexico because they're not the same as here. And I'd like to show you some of the problems that are caused when you don't do things uh, the way we do. And some benefits that we have by cutting corners that they cut that we would never dream of cutting because uh, a lot of our engineering is actually done by lawyers and not engineers. And so um, insurance companies do a lot of our engineering for us. The engineering has changed over the years because of insurance companies and lawyers. I'll show you some of that stuff. I, I, I intend to show you that. Um, I could also show you some scuba related stuff. I also, today was a big day because my friend got delivery of a monster, amazing zero turn mower to mow this big property here. And I've never seen, well, I've seen something like it. I've never been on something like it. It's, it's incredible. If y'all are interested in that, I'll show you that too. But I do intend to do some building stuff while I'm gone. And when I get back, I'm going to throw myself heart and soul into getting this all finished up and commissioned because I know it's been slow going. Well, maybe it doesn't seem like that. It seems slow to me because I'm used to managing 20 people. And when the labor force is just me, it seems slow. But we have made big headway with two projects, three buildings, all these batteries and all these, all this equipment that we've installed and, and conduit and, and wire that we've pulled. And there've been a lot of other things that have happened along the way that were behind the scenes too. Well, um, we've got all the, all the groundwork laid for making big progress. I do have to put the paneling and shelves in that garden shed and the sink and all that. I'll show you that when I get done. But I'm about caught up with all this. Now I'm going to go take a little break, relax. And I got to admit, friends, I really like what we're doing here. I really like doing these videos for you. I like this project and I like working over here. And this is the first vacation I've taken where I kind of wish that I could stay and finish what I was working on instead of going and taking a vacation. I really enjoy being here and doing what I'm doing and I enjoy making these videos for you. I enjoy the comments. If you haven't subscribed to this channel and you're enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. I, I kind of need that help from you. And apparently liking the video if you like it, apparently that helps too. But if all you want to do is talk about it, comment and I'll respond to you. You know I will. We'll, uh, We'll do that. But thank you for watching. If you're at this point in the video, it means you actually care a lot, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much, and I'll uh, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.